Hey, welcome to Give Me Apps, the world's number one independent app store. Today we're checking out Watson Stopwatches and Timers by developer eWorld Tech. Simply put, this app has a bunch of stopwatches and timers in a beautiful, easy to use interface. We can add as many stopwatches as we want or timers. We can have them run concurrently or we can single them out. Uh, we're going to jump into this right away. Take a look. By the way, this app is 100% free. It is ad supported, which is why it's free. Um, if you purchase the key, you can unlock the, um, get rid of the ads, and um, continue using the app. Um, I think this suffices, by the way, so um, you're good to go with the free app. Take a look at the interface here. We already started playing with this before we did the review, obviously, so we can get a feel for this. Um, we have a bunch of stopwatches here, a bunch of timers. They also come in different categories. Take a look. We have runners. We have um, cooking, etc. Adding timers is simple or stopwatches. You press the plus button at the top here of the interface. Boom, there it is. To get rid of it, we can expand the window on the bottom. We just added timer three, as you can see, and we hit the trash icon. Boom, it goes away. We can continue to do that and have as few or as many as we want. Um, the premise is simple. The idea, stopwatches count up, timers count down. Take a look at what happens here. We press play and it goes. And it's about as simple as that, right? Now, um, let's try that again and put another stopwatch to go. Take a look at that. Take a look, take a look there, right? So we have a whole bunch of things that are happening at once. And we can continue to do that. And there you go. You might be saying, why in the world would I want a million stopwatches in an interface? Well, maybe you're a coach and maybe you're timing your runners. Maybe you're the coach of a track team or maybe you're doing baseball exercises. Maybe you're a music teacher and you want to time a couple of songs or how long it um, takes for a couple of people to finish a solo or do something like that. It's this, it has its uses in the classroom. We have a cooking category, but maybe you want to time yourself. Um, in cooking, um, I don't know, various foods. You have, you know, four burners on a stove. Maybe you want to see how long it takes um, uh, different foods to cook under certain conditions. I don't know. Um, it's one of those um, throw up in the air, I don't know apps, but it, it's useful and it works the way that it's advertised. So you can't beat that there. Let's take a look at some of the features. We can, um, just like, I guess, like a video game or uh, um, other software where we can kind of move the windows up and down, we can do the same thing here. Take a look. We press the up button and we have the stopwatch 3 going further up on the screen. We can move it down also. You already know what the trash icon does. We press this, the window takes up the entire size of the screen and we can isolate that one uh, stopwatch. We're going to press pause. You see the icons are larger. We can do laps, right? So if you were a swimming instructor, every time they hit the wall, you press lap and it adds and adds and adds. We can pause it, right? And we can reset it and there that is. We press the um, Go back button, the back button on the bottom of the um, Android device. We're reviewing this on a Samsung Galaxy S3, by the way. And, of course, this is an Android app. Should have pointed that out in the beginning. Um, take a look here. Take a look. let you set the stopwatch up. You can change the title. And once you finish doing that, you um, confirm that. So we're going to do that just for kicks. We're going to erase this. And we're going to call this um, Give Me Apps Review so you can see what happens, or we'll just call it Give Me Apps. Once we do confirm, we press confirm, there it is, look at the bottom, we have the Give Me Apps timer on the bottom of the screen there, okay? So there that goes. You already saw the stopwatch, here's the timer. We already said, timers go down, stopwatches go up, and you can see the timer in effect here, it's working. And just like the stopwatches, we can have as many timers going on as we want. Um, even as they're running, we can add more timers. That's useful. That's great. And um, you can see it's ready for us to press play. We can reset it the same way that we do others. And take a look. We're going to press pause there. And we reset it. There it is. Uh, what else? Take a look. Um, we have the settings menu here on the bottom. We can set stopwatch and timer specific uh, preferences. So take a look. We can use tenths. We don't have to use that. Um, and we have the volume up and the volume down button for obvious reasons. When it's over, you hear the t you hear the ding, and there you go. So 
you know, what we like about this is that the interface looks sleek, it's slick, um, it's very easy to use, and um, it has its uses in certain applications. Like I said, if you're a teacher, if you're a chef, uh, maybe you're a construction guy, you want to make sure that your workers um, get things done, or you want to track the time, maybe you're an analyst, um, this app um, does the job. And again, it's free, you can't go wrong there, 100% free, it's ad supported, and the ads don't take up that much space, it doesn't block anything, and it's not an eyesore. So, like we said, there you go. We have um, Watson stopwatches and timers from eWorld Tech. They have many other apps that are available. And as we said before, um, you can get rid of the ads by um, getting that key. So, this is Give Me Apps, the world's number one independent app store. Download apps for iPhone, Android, iPad, WebOS, Symbian, Windows Phone, and much more. We're the only app store on the planet where developers can get the full 100% of their download profits. Not 70, not 80. Check us out on GiveMeApps.com. Of course, you are watching our YouTube channel, YouTube.com slash AppMall. Guys, until next time.